Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today let's discuss on three-way match policy in purchase order. So first let's understand what is three-way match, how three-way match works, let's understand the concept and then see how we can configure and work in the system. So let me just open the Excel. Uh, so the documents that gets involved in three-way match is your purchase order then there is goods receipt and invoice so these are the three documents that get involved in your three-way match policy then there is unit price and quantity so these are the things that gets compared in a three-way match policy so what happens during a three-way match policy is for a unit price it is compared between your purchase order and invoice so whenever if there is a match in the unit price between the PO and invoice, then you're not crossing the three-way match policy, you know. So for similarly, for quantity, it's compared between goods received and invoice. So if there is a difference in quantity between the purchaser and invoice, it's okay because for quantity, the comparison is between GR, which is the actual goods received was the invoice so this is how the three-way match policy works once we enable it does a unit price comparison between the purchase order and invoice and for quantity it compares between gr and invoice so this is so let's now configure this in the system and see how system behaves so the first setup is we need to enable three-way match in the system so go to modules accounts payable setup under setup click on accounts payable parameters so go to invoice validation in invoice validation first enable the invoice matching validation and then if you scroll down you will see price and quantity matching under that in the line matching policy you have an option to select three-way matching two-way matching or not required three-way matching is basically what I explained and then you have two-way matching and then not required so in our case we need the three-way matching so let's enable the three-way matching same so now let's create purchase order and see how this gets work so go back to modules purchase order click all purchase order so I'm trying to create a new purchase order and see how the three-way match works so click new so select the window for which the purchase order is required so click ok so let me select the item number so I have just one item so I'm selecting that so what's interesting here is uh, you know the quantity and the unit price so let me change the quantity to 3 and let's have unit price as thousand save so let me confirm the purchase order so click on purchase and then confirm the purchase order so once the purchase order is confirmed let me do the GR and then we'll see the invoice and see the three-way match so click on receive and then click on product receipt okay so here uh, just give the product receipt number uh, then if you scroll down so let me change the uh, quantity received so my purchase order is created for three quantity whereas I'm doing GR for let's say two quantity so I'm keeping the unit price the same I'm just changing the quantity to two now click OK The product receipt is getting posted so once the product receipt is posted now let's go for invoice so click on invoice click on generate invoice so once I go for invoice you can notice here if you scroll down under the line you can see the quantity is automatically picked as two that is because if you see here there is the product receipt so I have posted the product receipt and this invoice is getting posted against the product receipt 
and therefore the quantity is automatically picked from the product receipt so now if you see here we can see the product receipt quantity which is passed or we can see the price match which is also passed now if you see our understanding here what happens so the system should check gr and invoice for the quantity right so if you go back to the system if you see here what is the quantity the quantity is 2 which is getting posted against the product receipt number 2w so if you open the product receipt number if you see here what is the quantity the quantity is 2 therefore the quantity is getting matched and therefore uh, the product receipt quantity is passed so in case if you want to change the quantity here so from 2 let me change to 1 now as soon as I change to 1 uh, the system will ask whether you are okay to change it just click ok ok then click yes now if you see here the product receipt quantity the status is failed that is because the system is comparing the invoice quantity was the GR quantity so the GR quantity is 2 whereas my invoice quantity is 1 therefore the product receipt quantity is failed so that's how the uh, product receipt works between GR and invoice so let me uh, change back this to 2 ok click save so now if you see it's automatically getting passed so now let's go for unit price so what how unit price works unit price is a comparison between purchase order and invoice ok so let me go back to system now what is the unit price here in the invoice the unit price is 1000 so let me go back to purchase order so if you uh, go back to purchase order so the unit price in the purchase order is thousand dollars right so if you see here the price match status is passed that is because the unit price in the invoice and the unit price in the purchase order is matching so let me just change the unit price here uh, instead of thousand let me change to 900 okay so now if you see here the price match it is failed that is because the unit price in the invoice is not matching with the unit price in the purchase order and therefore the price match status is failed if you want to see more uh, you know matching details then click on review under review you can see matching details so click on matching details now if you click on matching details here you can see there is a three-way match that's been enabled and uh, you can see here the unit price it's failed similarly there's a price unit there's a charges so all of that gets compared so uh, as per our setup uh, the unit price is not matching the invoice unit price is not matching with purchase order unit price so that's how the three-way match works so let me just change back this to thousand now if you see the status it will automatically get passed so this is how uh, the three-way match works for purchase order in d 65 fndo so there are other things like price tolerance uh, which we can set up in the parameters uh, you know you can set up the price tolerance for the amount price tolerance for the percentage so i'll be doing a separate video uh, to explain on the tolerance part this is only for the <laughs> uh, the three-way match uh, enabling the three-way match so that's it for the video thank you